Freer than the clock tank, taking away the time. Freer than the meaning the free that man defines. Oh, Cause I'm free. Listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. First and foremost, let me make this comment. I'm not going to be on here long at all. Whatever size of diaspora that you're on, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for those of y'all who have donated to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really, really do. I really do. Um, but I'm here today to talk about my fellow Aryan brother, uh, the, the, the thinking man. Mr. Kyrie Irving. Oh, I know a lot of y'all don't like him right now today, but I really want to give him love and shout out and uh, send good vibes his way because it takes a man to stand up and do what you need to do when everybody in the world is against you. I just went to the doctor Friday, and the first thing my doctor said to me, was, uh, you know, you didn't get your shot. You know, what, what you going to do? You gonna, when are you going to get the shot? And this is a very personal um, tidbit that I'm sharing with y'all because uh, it, it, it has become the anti-vaxxers if you don't want to get vaccinated against the people who are functionary puppets. I respect anybody. Just like Kyrie, I, I second everything that he said. I'm glad for the science. I'm glad that the higher power has blessed us with scientists to learn more, to do more. I have my reservations about uh, being in, taking a jab. Um, you know, I mean, to sit here and for him to sit here and tell you all this stuff, not only would he be violating his own hip, HIPAA uh, policy, but the fact that he's willing to share that um, there may be things that he's uncomfortable with. Just like I told my doctor, he's, well, well, you know, I, I took uh, the Moderna and I t I also uh, was sitting outside. Let me give you a quick story. And it was early in the morning, I had to go to a meeting, and I was with my assistant director. And we were on our way to a meeting out at Children's Court. And my chest, it felt like somebody just stabbed, you know, just like stabbed me. And I said, oh, you know, oh, and I could barely breathe, right? Silly me took some Rolaids now and went on to the meeting. But now, as soon as I came back from the meeting, my chest hurt it so bad. Uh, and I, I tried to walk up the driveway. I tried to walk and see if I could walk it off. And um, my director said, uh-uh, you need to go to the hospital. I went to the doctor, you guys, and I had a blood clot in my chest. Now, I know a lot of y'all know a lot of people who have left here because of blood clots. There's some that are still here because of them, you know, but you can look at like Chris Bosch. He had to retire from the game because having blood clots is a very serious thing. Um, I heard Lovely T, one of the content creators, saying um, that she experienced the same thing. So you, I don't know if anybody know how scary that is, but I'm here to tell you, if you've ever had a blood clot, uh, coming, traveling. Up your body, up your leg, up your vitamin to hit your lung. More than likely, if you don't get to, you have a stroke when it hit the brain or stay there. You know, you, you're gonna, you're not, you're gonna not gonna make it. So it is a blessing that I am here, standing here. Okay, and I don't take none of it for granted. I thank God every day for the life that is going through my body. Okay, because that's not the first time. That it almost, my life almost left. I've been through a whole lot. At 62 years old, you pro pretty much know I done been through the gamut. Okay? And so lately, um, I would say within the last 
ninety nine since you know I've been having some 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 health issues. The blood clot was the worst thing I've ever had, and now you come out with a shot, and you're saying that you know I have a friend who's allergic to shellfish. Every time she takes fish, eat shellfish, her lips swell up and her face swell up. They said people with allergies shouldn't take the shot right now. You got people that have experiences with blood clots taking the shot, and the shot is reproducing blood clots. Do you think for one minute I want to take that jab? I don't. It is my personal choice. I wear a mask. I wear two or three masks when I walk outside the door because I do respect. Because now the crazy part is you telling me I can get the shot and still get the shit. Now, if that ain't the craziest thing I ever heard, that really I could have been willing. But you now you telling me I got to put some shit in me that I don't know what it is. And then I still could get it. And then I still could spread it. And then I got to take another one because it's another one coming. Where does it end? And don't tell me about a long time ago, people had polio shots. Don't tell me about that because I know a boy that had polio. Matter of fact, I know three people that had polio because polio was something that the, my, uh, my generation, it, it, um, when they worked on the vaccine, it was mostly just baby boomers, okay, that had the polio. But now, when you got the polio shot, you didn't get polio no damn more. Okay, now they saying that chicken pox turns into shingles. I had chicken pox, so maybe it's laying dormant in my body to have shingles. And from what I hear, shingles is one of the worst things you can have. I don't want that. I've had a tetanus shot because they said you might step on some. No, I don't know what that is, but they said you need it every ten years. Okay. Um, um, measles, rubella, mumps. Um, I don't know that the, about the mumps, but I know about the rubella. I never had mumps. I never had rubella, and I'm sure that's because I was vaccinated. But you're not you telling me now to get a vaccination, and on some shit that I probably still. I mean, I I can't say anything, but without saying. Anything about it, I just have to say, I thank uh, 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 Kyrie for being open and honest. And I would wish the rest of y'all in society would stop ostracizing other people and making them feel like the proverbial other and the worst people in the world because they haven't uh, gotten the vaccine. You don't know what their uh, situation is. And because you don't know what their situation is, you shouldn't do that and try to make them feel less than and get them poked anyway. And then some of y'all done got poked and then, then got COVID again anyway. You know, you know, and still died. And so you want to get mad at people because they question this? How dare you? It's very unfair. And so I stand with Kyrie. I think Kyrie Irving, um, I, I respect you, brother. And um, it's, you know, just like an Aries. Just like an Aries. With that being said, you can uh, take this one to the bank.